sharing his personal story. He has sleep apnea and wants to raise awareness about that. Aaron Taylor is teaming up with Bell & Health tonight during a program on the sleep disorder. Aaron, nice to see you. How you doing? I'm doing great, Pete. How you doing, bud? Real good. What you been up to since you left Green Bay many, many years ago? <laughs> well, I've, I've been pretty busy. Got married, got a couple kids that uh, keep me busy more than anything, but I'm also a college football analyst for CBS Sports Network and CBS Sports. So I do about 100,000 miles in the fall, traveling to campuses and going back and forth between New York, covering the landscape of college football. So I've got all my bases covered. And whenever I get a chance, I'm always out there trying to create awareness about sleep apnea as well. Yeah, yeah. Let's talk about that. Well, and, and before we get into that, your your Packers, your former team Packers, are doing well, and so is Notre Dame. So with that said, <laughs> now let's talk about sleep apnea because. Uh, how did you learn about the fact that you had sleep apnea? Well, I think first initially when Reggie White passed away, I think that was a wake up call to a lot of people and it really brought it to the attention not only to myself but nationally. But for me, my symptoms were I was more tired than I thought I should have been. I was waking up with headaches. I was having trouble concentrating. Now I worked hard and burned the candle at both ends, but I just was more run down feeling than I thought I should have been. So I had a suspicion based on what happened to Reggie and my mother being an RN nurse and so on and so forth. So I went and got myself tested. I was basically waking up feeling like I was hung over when I wasn't drinking. So I knew that there was something wrong. And lo and behold, 20 times per hour for up to 20 seconds per time in the middle of an eight hour night of sleep, I wasn't breathing. That means that my oxygen or my body was severely oxygen deprived. So if you add that up, Pete, over an eight hour night of sleep, that was almost a full hour that I wasn't breathing. That's just amazing to me. Now, and is it under control? How do you treat it? Well, well the, the kind of the gold standard for treatment is CPAP theory, therapy, which stands for continuous positive airway pressure. So I have a machine that delivers room pressurized, it's not pressurized, it's room temperature air into a device that I wear an interface uh, at night and that helps to keep my throat open now. That may sound a little bit cumbersome and, and a little bit challenging, and for some people it can be, but the bottom line is this, I feel better. My headaches are gone, I've got a lot more energy, I can play with my kids, I'm getting more done at work than I've ever been able to do, and there are a lot of different treatments out there for a lot of different people that have specific needs. So CPAP therapy certainly isn't the only way to go, it's the way that I've chosen, it's the way that's worked for me, but unfortunately for some people, it's not that easy, and that's really what we're here to do tonight at Titletown in this uh, sleep apnea awareness and wellness program is to be able to put this on the map, to be able to educate people first about what it is, but secondly, to get them to do something about it. If you snore, if you are tired, if you're falling asleep at work, if you have high blood pressure, those can be indicators that you have sleep apnea. So please, please, please come down here tonight at Lambeau Field between 6.30, or excuse me, 6 and 7.30 to the fourth floor. There's going to be sleep techs here to be able to help people that maybe have been diagnosed and have a machine and don't know necessarily how to use it. Maybe they're struggling a little bit. Come down, we'll coach you through that. We'll get you some tricks of the trade. And also for the people that may suspect that they have it, we'll have a ton of information. So. Come down, there's everything to gain, nothing to lose except maybe meeting me. Yeah, well, there you go. <laughs> and, uh, and you're very busy, as you said, traveling the country with your C role with CBS. But, you know, it was just about, oh, 15 years ago that you really got your start. We have a little clip of you with the Wheel of Cheese. Let's check that out. All right, guys, this is Melissa from Green Bay. And Melissa just told me her knees are shaking. She's so nervous. Go ahead, Melissa. Kind of like Aaron. <laughs> 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 Only and the lucky other. number is... Three. Number three, for that, for that great question from that guy from Two Cricks, how do you spell Crick, uh, you get a Packer a video from Blockbuster. All right. Whoa. Well, I could see, uh, you know, you had it back then, Aaron. <laughs> You're famous for that wheel of cheese, aren't you? It, it's amazing that I've been able to be successful and have a career after my time here in Green Bay with the wheel of cheese. How I survived <laughs> that, I'll never know. But again, I want to encourage people to come down for qualified participants tonight. We'll have a sleep test that they can go home and take to be able to diagnose whether or not they have sleep apnea. So again, come down here to Lambeau at the fourth floor from 6 to 7.30. Meet me and a bunch of people yeah. in this in the sleep space that can help diagnose whether or not you have it and help you do something about it, which is the most important thing.
Yeah, it's not something that should be taken lightly. There's no doubt about that, right, Aaron? No question. I mean, the, the situations, the complications of it, if untreated, can be fatal. So I strongly encourage the wives, the daughters, the cousins, the sisters, people mm -hmm. that have somebody in their family that they snore, the bigger dudes or big burly truck drivers, trust me, this isn't something to play around with. There can be serious ramifications if you don't treat this and you have sleep apnea. So please come down and help us help you do something about it. Yeah. Aaron, thanks a lot for talking about it. And uh, once again, that's tonight. We'll have all the information on our website. Have a great day. Thanks, Pete.